Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. We're back again doing the Pug to Glad series. Uh, playing my monk. We found a Frost DK. Super hyped for that. And uh, I'm hoping to put my very small known penis inside the Shadow Priest and, uh, and make him hurt. So uh, yeah, so quite enjoying doing this. Uh, like I said, just finishing off from the other video. And we're just going to get into it. Nice and chilled. DK, let's see what his rating's at. So, like I said, all pugs. Uh, nearly 1,700 rating. That's pretty impressive, actually. Well, that's impressive, but... And then the, the druid is a zero rating with me. So, he's not going to get any rating for this. And I feel a little bit bad for him. But it's no problem. I'm going to make sure we stick our transcendence down behind this pillar. And then we are ready to push in to the Shadow Priest. I'm going to mount up again because I do want to push in as soon as. He's already got Earth Shield on, so we probably can't really focus him all too much. Yeah, the bomb. If he jumps down, I'm going to go Super Ham on him. Eventually, when I can get to him. So we are going to go Super Ham right here. Didn't actually blow my Serenity. Did pop my Touch of Death, which is a little bit unfortunate. But I do have Serenity for another go, which is actually quite a good spot to be in. Here we go. Here's some big deeps. He's about to line of sight his healer, which is not the idea. That's not what you want to do there, mate. I uh, could have got a triple stun then. I actually screwed up my Fist of Fury. Went for Rising Sun Kick instead. Uh, that's no issue. And again, all we have to really do is tunnel. So I'm just going to get rid of that Psy Fiend because screw that thing. I'm going to put some pressure onto the Feral just because it forces the Shammy to have to actually top him up. I actually hoped the DK wouldn't grip then because I leg sweeped and he rolled through it. Or he got pulled through it. So I can go for a triple stun here. And we could go on to any one of these, but I'm about to get my Serenity back up. And we can actually put some... We, we're going to kill somebody in this, I think. There comes the Ascendance. That was a nice jump. And a good grip back. Get a triple stun again. So we just got to keep up with this pressure. Uh, might actually just pull away. Can I just get topped up a sec? And we're back into pressure again. And this is literally all I've got to do. Um, I have actually got my burst back up. Don't really want to go. So I don't really go on with Shadow Priest because he has got his dispersion. And this is why I love monks. Because look at that mobility right there. Need to get onto this Shammy first. Gonna go for the stun, but he actually did manage to get that Mind Bomb off before I stunned. Got it now, and he should die from this, hopefully. Gotta make sure we kick these first two kicks. Got the first one, and the DK isn't gonna be there to get the second one. But I've got the Rising Sun Kick to finish. And again, this just shows why Melee Cleaves are so strong right now. Is that all we had to do, really, there is just keep tunneling. Eventually it was going to go our way. And they can go me all they want. Uh, he's going to go really hard here and I'm just going to do that. He's actually going to end up killing himself which is funny. So I'm just going to let him do that to himself. Hate the fact that my hitbox is so small. It feels like it's smaller because it's because I'm a gnome. And again, we see DKs being super, super strong. They were fun, like tunneling me for a lot there, so it did allow the DK to have some kind of just free time to push the deeps. But with his MMR being so high, hopefully we'll keep at the, the 96 per win for a while. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this queue isn't too long. Uh, I don't know why no monk... Um, it's a small character, I don't know, they're just annoying to fight. I fought against a load of no monks in, like, Mop, and that's when I made this character originally. 
and it was like, okay, that's great, but they're just annoying. <laughs> And it really was. It was just annoying to try and click, to try and target. Uh, again, our target here is probably the rogue. Um, with swaps onto the monk. So again, we've got no... I spoke cocoon wrong. It's awkward. Uh, we've got no communication. They are all pugs. The DK seems to know what he's doing. Um, but again, I still like to just communicate it. Just to make sure everybody's on the same page. That's a nice transmog you have there. Mine is better though because I have a, a replica hat. Not too many places to put a good transcendence here, so I'm actually going to put it on the middle. Uh, mainly because I can align a site very quickly from that in no time at all, and it allows me to kind of get to anywhere in the map. He did manage to get the gateway off, but the rogue did get knocked out and has to vanish already, so I'm going to jump onto that rogue. Um, a stun, I'm waiting for the in-cap to come afterwards, but they're putting no pressure out from this, really. Here comes some damage onto me, I'm going to be absolutely fine for this, I'm not even going to use uh, Karma. Not sure why, the DK seems to be going lock, so I'm going to put some pressure onto the lock. Uh, let's get a double stun, the, the touch of death is going to come out anytime now. That's a lot of pressure we're putting out right now. I did Karma, didn't really need to, I'm actually doing it to be offensive rather than to be defensive. Uh, it has run out, so we're going to get a double stun into the double stun from this, and maybe. So we've seen everything really come out now from the lock and the monk. So I'm actually going to go put some pressure on the monk, hopefully. Uh, tried to make sure I didn't get line of sight in case I did get stunned then. Ah, uh, I actually in capped just slightly too soon. To get him out of the cocoon. That's my bad there. Yeah, yeah, double stun with this. Didn't really want to use it on these, but I needed the stun just to try and be a little bit tankier for a second. Where's the druid? He's not a druid. I'm going to try and get a slow on him. There we go. There's the root. I've got some damage coming in a second. So let's do it now. Got the double stun onto the rogue to stop him peeling me. And we're going to go for the rising sun kick. The interrupt on the soothing mist. And there goes the monk. And it's not very difficult at all. I would say playing with the DK was actually what I wanted to play with in this. Just because it is... Just the, it's, it's too pure tunnel DPS basically. And all we've got to do is peel off at the right time. Because we are the squishy one that everyone's going to want to focus. And we get another win. So we've probably got one more, and then I'll uh, stop this episode. But guys, tell me in the comments if you like this series, what you think I could do better with it, things like that. Uh, and, and yeah, it would be pretty cool to have your feedback with that. Currently 100% win rate, just throwing that out there about how godlike we are. Let's get in, let's get our fifth win of the Pug to Glad series. Balanced Druid, Resto Shami, Arcane Mage. Okay, so I've seen people try and play this comp at lower rating and higher rating. Higher rating, very, very scary comp. The full moon into the Mark of Aluneth and all the Arcane Missiles burst. You can 100 to 0 someone in seconds. Low rating, however, um, the polys you can kind of line. The clones, very easy to ignore. And uh, the hexes, kind of obviously DR with the polys anyway, so... I don't know, it's not really a low rating team, but let's see how they do. Uh, I really like Control the Mist, otherwise I'd be running. Obviously, his end moment's pretty decent. Fortifying Bruise, not bad. Uh, Fortifying Bruise, probably just the best at the moment for monks, as uh, obviously a wall. Um, but I like Control the Mist for that sustainability. I'm pretty good at using it pretty efficiently as well. Uh, Tiger style is just amazing, and obviously I haven't got things like Tiger Eye Brew or anything like that yet. So, uh, the Earth Shield coming out onto the Druid. Wasn't really expecting that one. I'm going to jump straight onto this mage. He's going to kite me all day long, and I'm not about that life, but... Here comes the damage, though. So I'm trying to see who he's going to full moon. Looks like he's going to full moon me. He's never going to get that full cast off. 
Looks like we are actually going for the Druid. So I'm going to get some damage off here. In cap the Shammy. The Shammy already knew it was coming though. Uh, so that was a really good uh, in calm by him. Uh, sorry, not in calm, but like Blood Fury from him. Just need to make sure he never gets that full moon off. That was a lovely lightning surge, actually. And I'm taking a lot of pressure here. I'm gonna, I want him to drop this because I'm going to um, calm it. Why do I need more than like three abilities to kill this totem? God damn it. So the mage is just so hard for us to lock down, and that's what makes this comp really, really annoying. Maybe our first loss of the uh, the team here. He did actually blink my stun. I wasn't expecting people to have actual good reactions. It's a little bit scary, you know? He's probably going to blink out of it, but it's just to kind of uh, create some counter pressure. Going to put some pressure onto the druid with my uh, with my serenity. I'm going to try and stop clones and things like that. I really don't want my healer to be CC'd at the moment. Uh, ideally, we need to get onto this mage. We tried to mass invis then, screwed it up a little bit. Going to get my stun onto him, and he's going to take some serious damage right now. Um, he goes back, but again, he's still going to be taking some serious damage. We have to watch this druid, though. Yeah, that sky fury turn is just not happening, my friend. At this point, I'd actually be okay going onto the chamois. I did trinket that because I wanted to put the touch of death on with the karma. Um, we're putting some decent pressure onto him at the moment. We need to get rid of that um, earthen shield though. The clones coming out and just the counter appeals from these guys. And he's struggling on mana compared to ours. So if we can sustain this, we'll probably just win on, on pressure. I'm going to put some pressure on with Ser Serenity. He's trying to juke my kick. It's not going to happen that easy. However, I am under a little bit of pressure, so hopefully... Ah, I can't. Yeah, I probably line of sight my healer there, but he wasn't in a position where he was going to be saving me, and we didn't do enough to stop that uh, full moon out. Uh, again, they did really well. Uh, but it is what it is. So, first loss of the Pug to Glad series. Yeah, we'll be back next episode. So guys, thank you for watching and catch you later. Goodbye.